Cut. Now you get in the middle, right? Yeah, I'll stand by that, brother. We'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakhon to Dash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and told us this truth. All right, Shalom to the uh, uh, to the Akim out there that's pushing the truth for sale. All right, Shalom, Shalom to the Quran Kaka Han. All right. Shout out to the confusion and faces scattered across the four corners of the globe. Right. 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 The house of David by Yom Dawa Da. Right. Shout out right. to Brother Ayash. Ayash. Shout out to Brother Ayash, Ayash as well, Shalom. man. Yup, 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 yup. All right, so um, yeah, we can start it off with that scripture. Go right to it. Right. This is Jeremiah 4 and 7. The lion has come up from his thicket, uh -huh. and the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. The destroyer of the Gentile is on his way, all right? Which is who? Who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, all right? Yahweh Shah is on his way to destroy those that want to remain in that Gentile state of mind, okay? And he's also coming for you uh, uh, natural Gentiles, all right? You are uh, of the other nations, okay? What's up, brother? Peace, peace, peace. 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 He is going forth from his place to make the land desolate. He is going forth from his place to make the land desolate. Why? Because this place is full of corruption, it's full of confusion, no one follows laws, our people hate authority, all right? They hate discipline. They hate instruction. All right? So what what, what does the Most High have to do? He has to bring back his son to bring, put forth that rod, all right? To the, uh, get our people to be moving right in, this, uh, in the right state of mind. All right? And the city shall be laid waste without inhabitant. The city shall be laid waste without inhabitant. They're not teaching you in, in the churches, man. They're teaching you a bunch of glorious time and prosperity. But the scriptures is letting you know the one who you eagerly call Jesus Christ is coming back to uh, uh, bring back fire, all right? Hey! He's coming back to destroy this place, all right? Judgment. And bring judgment right. and establish order. Go ahead. Oh. For this gird, for this, gird you, gird you with sackcloth, lament and howl. For the fierce anger of the Lord is not turned back from us. That's right. Humble yourself, all right? Gird yourself with sackcloth. How? Pray out to the Most High, all right? Confess your sins among, amongst one another, all right? We need to come back and repent, all right? Because all hell that's breaking loose in, in the world right now is not by coincidence. This was strategically set up by the Most High, who you call God. His name is Yahweh, all right? And it... And it shall come to pass at that day, saith the Lord, that the heart of the king shall perish, mm -hmm. and the hearts of the prince, and the heart of the princes, and the priests shall be astonished, mm -hmm. and the prophets shall wonder. And the prophets shall wonder. Hey, so with all that being said, what is the next option for you to do? All right? You got to repent. You got to come back to the Most High. This is the only way, the Most High is looking for uh, uh, the blood of his son uh, dripping on you, all right? Because if you are dwelling in sin, all right, the Lord is going to, according to the according to the Lord, the Most High is going to destroy you. Good. All right? Well, actually, it says the wage of the sin is death. Mm -hmm. God, God. You know? So, you know, this, this is the payment. The reason why, listen, you got to, that's the payment for what you're putting out. What you're putting out in the energy, all right? What you're putting out here in the earth, all right? If you, if you like sinning, the payment for that is death. Simple. Yeah, you, you might get all the cars, the clothes, the hoes, the Lamborghinis, the yachts. You might have all the free time in the world. But if you don't serve, give yourself to the Lord, the payment's gonna be death, man. All right? All right? That was right. That was it. Yeah, that was it. I got a precept. It's a book of Isaiah 63 and 1. Can't. Break it down. Oh, wow. Who is that? Who is this that coming from Edom? with thy garments from Basra. Mm -hmm. This is that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in his greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. So it says, who is that that cometh from Edom with thy garments, man? That's from right. Basra, 
All right, that's talking about the Lord. That's right. That's right. And it right. says his garment's going to be dyed. Why? Why? Because it's going to be like it's dipped in blood. That's right. Right? Because listen, America and these, these other great nations, so they're not just going to give up their power kingdom like that. Mm -hmm. They're going to have, they, they, they're going to fight. They're going to fight and the Most High is going to annihilate them, man. Right. Uh, All right? And it, and it specifically talked about Edom. That's right. All right? Edom is uh, 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 Esau. Yes. All yep. right? And the kingdom of Edom is going to be taken down. That's right. All right? And those are the people that control this world. They control the media. They control the agriculture, what you eat. They control every aspect even of your life because you got to go through them to get it. Okay? Mm -hmm. It says, Wherefore art thou red in thy apparel? And thy garments like him that tread up in the wine fat, you see? So the Most High, he's gonna have a power on. We'll let you know that the Most High is not a spirit, man. He said he came in the flesh. Anybody that says that the Most High, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai did not come in the flesh, you are a liar, you a demon, man. That's right. right. All right? Because a spirit can't a spirit can't just put on a power, man. All right? It says, I have trodden the wine press alone. And of the people, there was none with me. For I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury. Mm. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my remnant. Mm. All right, so y'all are going to be sprinkled all over the Most High's garment, man. I think there was an article you shared out where uh, there was like rivers of... Um Oh, wine. Wine. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, mean, I found out where that, where that happened. Yeah, yeah, I think that happened. I think, uh, uh, I think it might have been in California. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. it was in California. Been in California. Right, 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 right. right. But the Most High is going to be blood all running through these streets, man. Right. By the scripture telling you in Revelation, it's going to be up to the horse's bridle. If a brother can find that. God. It says, uh, for the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeem has come. And the Most High is going to redeem, redeem everything. He's gonna redeem Israel. When you read the book of Acts, they ask the Most High. They ask him, when is he, when is he gonna restore the kingdom back to Israel? The Most High is gonna redeem us, man. All right? right. He's gonna redeem his name, everything, man. It says, and I looked and there was none to help. And I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore, my own arm brought salvation unto me, mm. and, and my fury it upheld me. And I will tread down the people in my anger mm. and make them drunk in my fury, and I will bring down their strength to the earth. So the Most High is coming, man. He's coming to bring down these people's strength to the earth to make them nothing, man. Right. Because there ain't gonna be two kingdoms. Right, you know? right, right. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a, a dictatorship. Right. It's not gonna be a democracy. Right. You know, everybody gonna have their own opinion. No, the Most High is gonna lay down the law, and that's what it's gonna be, it's gonna be carried out all over the world. That's right. And outside the world. That's right. Outside this realm, which we call Earth, it's going to be, it's going to be the governing uh, 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 law all over the universe, man. Wow. Wow. All right, planets that you didn't even touch yet. Wow. All right? You got all type of activities going on right now in the Milky Way. They saying there's a big, bright light inside the Milky Way. Mm. Now, it's supposed to be dark matter. Wow. All right? But guess what? It's a lot of activity going on. And it's scary, it's scary they are uh, uh, so-called astronomers, man. Yeah. You know? Cause they know something is coming. This is not normal. That's right. You know? Yeah, okay, whoever got something. Come on, I got the uh okay, oh, okay, okay. Okay. this is uh Revelations chapter 14, verse 20. And I'll start from uh I'll start up a little bit. Uh Revelation chapter 14, verse 18. It says, and another angel came out from the altar which had power over fire and cried with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, thrust in thy sharp sickle and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth for her grapes are fully ripe. Mm. Right, pretty much uh, is that time and season for to the angels to judge the wicked and also deliver their life. Um, verse 19, and the angel thrust in his sickle into the earth and gathered the vine of the earth and cast it into the great wine press of the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So hey, those are all the bad grapes. Those are the uh, the two thirds. Those are the uh, the other nations as well. All right, as the brothers is elaborating and speaking on, you know, ain't gonna be they ain't gonna make no more fun of us no more when that time come. They had uh, some uh, the uh, crocs. They put the uh, damn K uh, chicken KFC chicken on the crocs. 
And then on top of the crock, they put the all uh, they you had an actual chicken leg, man. A fried chicken leg on a crock. And who who you making mockery of? Right. It's us. It says um uh, verse 19. Hey yeah, you just had 12,000 minks. Alright, because Esau uh, they got the mink farms where what, what they're gonna do with the minks, they're gonna make them expensive coats. Right. Alright, that people like to wear the twenty thousand dollar uh mink jackets, mink coats, right, fifty fifty thousand dollars and what? Uh, 12,000 was 12,000 symbolic number. 12,000 minks uh, caught the coronavirus and died. All right? So the most high is slowing this place down, man. Right. Cause it ain't gonna be nothing. It ain't gonna be no more big, big fights and none of that stuff no more, man. All right? Everything about to be virtual, man. Yeah, Everything yeah. gonna be on Zoom. Everything gonna be on Skype. FaceTime. You wanna have a funeral? You wanna have, you go, that thing gonna be held on Skype. Right. That thing gonna be held on Zoom. Yeah. All right? You ain't gonna be able to, uh, like I'm gonna tell you, you're not even gonna oh, be able to wow. bury the dead. Yeah. All right? And we, that's prophecy, man. Come I up. went to a funeral this week and, and, and they, they was zooming it. Wow. So his family could see it. Wow. And there was only like 30 people there. Cause you can't have large crowds, man. You know? So we in that time now, yo, oh, nobody's gonna be able to bury the dead. It's gonna get worse than that, man. You know? Yeah, bro. It says, verse 20. And the wine press was trodden without the city, and blood came out of the wine press, even unto the horse's bridle. So, uh, and like the brothers is breaking down through the spirit, our Lord Yahweh Shah, when he's coming, not only the scriptures say he's gonna not meet thee as a man, but he's gonna he basically gonna be like treading a wine press, man. You know, imagine that, you know, this great big figure, and this is gonna be nothing but red, or the streets is gonna fall. Be full with blood, man. Blood. With blood. Yeah, they show you that in that movie, um, um, um War of the World. Yeah, wait, yeah, wait, yeah, wait, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. That spacecraft is splashing blood all over the damn yeah. place. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That? <laughs> the splashing blood, and you just put it in the machine. Right. And, and then right. making a damn blood smoothie because the most high said in the last days the blood gonna be up to the horse's bridle. Right. Now, if you look at a horse, a horse stands like this tall. Right. It says it's gonna be by this bridle, so that's a lot. You got people that can't even swim. Let alone take the stench and the smell of blood. Exactly. You know, that thing is going to be crucial, man. And guess what? Where you think the so-called black woman going to be at? Up under your arms, asking for yeah, protection. Yeah. Oh, asking yeah. for a way out. Where, where yeah. you think all these proud people going to be at when that time comes? Mm -hmm. They going to be looking for men like us, man. That's right. But Lord willing, man, we be on them damn chariots, man. That's right. You know? Right. Yep. That's still that. You want that? Uh, by the space of 600... By the space of like a, of a thousand and six hundred for long. That's it. I got three sets for you. Bring it out. This is Revelation 11 and 15. And the seven angels sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord Yahweh wow. That's right. And he shall reign forever. And, that, and that's what you call a corporate takeover. When right. somebody say, Yo, I'm just taking it. I'm taking your work, man. Like you got right. them dudes that be on the block selling drugs, and w and when the big homie come home, he like, yo, I'm taking that. It's mine. I'm taking this set over. It's my set. You know? Right. That, that's what the Lord gonna do. The Lord gonna take over and show you who's the true custodians of this earth is, man. That's right. And it ain't you, man. It ain't you, man. You've been you've been faking the fuck, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And the seven angels sounded, and there was a were a great voice in heaven saying, the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord, mm. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and he shall reign forever and forever. Mm. And they, and the four and twenty elders which sat before the Most High on their seats fell upon their faces and worshiped the Most High God, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Oh, God. Shalom, God. Shalom, 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 Shalom. Shalom. Uh, oh, keep going? All right, yeah. so, so like, yeah. Verse 17, saying, we give thanks, O Lord Yahweh, Almighty, which art and, and was and art to come, because thou hast taken thee thy great power and has reigned. Let me read verse 18 too. God. Right, because like the brother said through the spirit, the scriptures also say, why do the heathen reign? Rage. Oh yes, I get that, I get that. Because you you got um you got these other countries that think they going they gonna rule the earth after America. Right, right. Which right. is not so. The Lord uh Yahweh, the, the most high Yahweh is send, sending his son Yahweh Shah, our big brother, 
to come and deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. With, and the kingdom of heaven is going to be ruling this 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 earth. That's right. Brother. The kingdom of heaven is going to be set up on this earth. That's right. That's right. The other nation is going to be ruling. That's right. Verse 18. Oh, you got it, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can read it real quick. Oh, it's Psalms 2 and 1. It says, Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Right. So the Lord is asking the question, Why do the heathen rage? Because you, you, you got the gooks. They think they next in power. Yeah, that's true. You know, because America is slowly, they still in power. But they they slowly loop, you know going down. Yeah, everybody it's got good. nuclear capability now. Uh, uh, you know uh, the technology uh, uh, everybody has. Uh, you know, and and China is really helping out a lot of those third world countries like Africa. So they even getting them more up to date and strengthening them. So uh, you know, yeah. Hey, look at this. We're talking about the heat is raging. You know, the article says South China Sea outrage, terrifying warning. Beijing is preparing for World War III. Wow. Hey, it says uh, South China Sea tensions have led to a U.S. Senate describing tensions as like World War III. So it says uh, uh, Beijing's uh, military sensation uh, uh, ramps up. So the heathens are enraged right now, man. Right, right, right. right? And this is the most high uh, stirring these things up, all right? For that World War III, all right? For that battle that's going to happen, man. That's right. right? That's right, brother. Yeah, man. So uh, like the prophet was bringing out, man, uh, 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 this place is it's, it's on a downshift, man. America is losing its power, all right? And, and the, the, the rising of the um, uh, of the Israelites, all right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shah is on the uprising, man. All right, the corporate takeover. Yep. Cool. And you you you're not next in power neither, man. Yeah, that's right. That's, right. that's true. You don't think you up next? No. Yeah. The nation of Israel, the kingdom of heaven, is up next. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shah, we right. got next. Right. 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 I'm gonna right, finish bro. this off for you, bro. Oh, God, Verse God, 18. God. Back in Revelation uh, 11 and 18. God. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and, and that thou shalt givest reward unto the servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that and them that fought and feared thy name. Salakia, let me read that again. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged. Wow. You that, see that part, the nations that are angry.